Endurance versus Conditioning The thesis is straightforward. Of all the sports-specific qualities, endurance is the most overrated. Why? Because in most sports, endurance is neither necessary nor the limiting element. It is conditioning. Where is the distinction? An iconic example of endurance is running a marathon. Endurance is the capacity to sustain a certain task with little weariness. Running for two hours or more continuously during a marathon is essential for success. Team sports like soccer, American football, basketball, and ice hockey are classic instances of conditioning, which is the capacity to repeat an activity with little exhaustion. In those sports, it's important to maintain as little weariness as possible between the first and last sprints, and all the others in between. Two ways of endurance. 1. Endurance at high intensity. That is the ability to maintain a stress of high intensity upright with minimal fatigue. A 100-meter sprinter is a good example. After 60 to 70 meters, a sprinter reaches his maximum pace. From 60 to 70 meters, keeping the top speed as long as possible without tiring becomes crucial. Here, we're referring to speed endurance. Usain Bolt is a fantastic illustration of this. His extraordinary speed endurance, which allows him to sustain his top speed with little tiredness and overtake all of his rivals after 60 to 70 meters, gives him the largest edge over his rivals and explains why he is even more dominant over 200 meters than over 100. Two. Low intensity endurance is the capacity to sustain an upright posture under low intensity stress with the least amount of exhaustion. The marathon is a prime illustration. It's essential to run a marathon with as little weariness as possible. Without pause or interruption, all at once. Two forms of conditioning. 1. High volume conditioning refers to the capacity to repeatedly deliver a given performance with little wear and tear. The finest example is soccer, where a player's average sprint distance may need to be repeated up to 70 times every game, with little to no weariness, depending on their position. 2. Low volume conditioning refers to the capacity to do a given task repeatedly with little physical or mental strain. Olympic weightlifting is the best illustration. There, you only need to attempt a repetition three times each discipline or competition. For example, you only need to perform the snatch and clean and jerk three times each. Please like and subscribe to our channel for life-changing content and hit the like button. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.